Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And so it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening, and there was morning on the second day. And God said, let the waters under the sky be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night, and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning on the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves, of every kind with which the waters swam, and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning on the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all their multitude. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. That is the story of creation.
O oh God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature, grant that we may share the divine life of the one who humbled himself to share our humanity, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The story of the Valley of the Dry Bones. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all round them, and there were very, very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of the God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you, and you will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded. And as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. Then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say, Our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost, and we are cut off completely. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and when I bring you up from your graves, O my people, I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, has spoken and will act, says the Lord. And that is the story of the Valley of the Dry Bones. <laughs> Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
story of Exodus. As Pharaoh drew near, the Israelites looked back, and there were the Egyptians advancing on them. In great fear, the Israelites cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us, bringing us out of Egypt? Is this not the very thing we told you in Egypt? Let us alone and let us serve the Egyptians. For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. But Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and see the deliverance that the Lord will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to keep still.
Grant to those who are sealed by your Holy Spirit the will and the power to proclaim you to all the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. night. Rejoice. This is the night when the trumpets of heavenly hosts and choirs of angels shout salvation for Christ's victory over death. This is the night. Rejoice and sing. This is the night when darkness of death and the grave is vanquished. This is the night. Rejoice and be glad. On this night, the whole church resounds with the joyful prayers and praises of Christ's people. Pride and hatred are cast out, and peace and concord abide. All who believe in Christ are delivered from the gloom of sin and restored to holiness of life. And earth and heaven are joined, and we are reconciled to God. This night, as we await the resurrection of Christ, we welcome two new people into our shared life in Christ. On this most holy and blessed of nights, we will witness the baptism of Darcy Nadine Spencer and Evelina Lucy Pavadore. And we will join Darcy and Evelina and all those who are baptized today throughout the world and renew our own baptismal covenant with God. The covenant we made, or was made on our behalf, toward a holy life, filled with God's abundant grace, knowing that when we find we have fallen into sin, when we have strayed from God's way, all we need to do is return to God to find true forgiveness and reconciliation. Jesus has died, and on this night we celebrate Christ's resurrection. Though our Lord and God no longer walks the earth with us in human flesh, Jesus left with his disciples, with us, a spirit and practice of community. And so it is fitting that when the whole church is gathered, we should welcome new members into Christ's body. Darcy and Evelina, know that as members of this body, the holy work of God that you are called to do, you will never have to do alone. As members of the body, when we gather together and bring all we have to Christ's table, our offerings, our hopes and fears, our hurts and our longings, and we are fed by word and meal, and then fortified to be sent back out into the world to continue God's holy work, with the promise that God is with us in all of it, and are all of the faithful who have lived this life before us, and whose stories we hear tonight. It is on their shoulders we stand, and with whom we join in the heavenly dance of God's kingdom. May we, with God's help, and the prayers and petitions of all the saints, Continue to make known the faith of Christ who was crucified, proclaim Christ's resurrection, and share in Christ's eternal priesthood. Amen.
and for Darcy, vows which we too once renounced Satan and all his works, and promised to serve God faithfully in his holy church. The candidates for baptism will now be presented. child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life. And then will you help? Will you by your prayers and witness help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? And will with God's help. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? And I renounce them. Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? And I renounce them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? I renounce them. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? I do. Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? I do. This question is to all of you. Will you who witness these vows do all in your power? to support these persons in their life in Christ. We will. Let us join with all those who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal vows. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, among all people, and respect the dignity of every human being. I will, with God's help. Let us now pray for this person who is to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver her, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep them in faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach them to love others in the power of the Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send them into the world in witness to your love. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Bring them to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son, Jesus, received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah of Christ to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Darcy, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. by the Holy Spirit as a child of God forever. Amen. Amen. Evelina, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit as a child of God forever. Amen. Amen. the light of Christ and let it so shine before others so as to give glory to your Father in heaven. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon this your servant the forgiveness of sin 
and have raised them to new life of grace. Sustain them, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give them an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. Amen. Let us welcome the newly baptized, saying, We receive you into the house of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified, proclaim his resurrection, and share with us in his eternal priesthood. My siblings in Christ, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. I invite you to greet one another in a sign of Christ's peace. <laughs>
resurrection. Stir up in your church that spirit of adoption which is given to us in baptism, that we, being renewed both in body and mind, may worship you in sincerity and truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and 
give us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen.
deliver them from bondage and led them to a land of promise. Of your grace, you have Jesus to be human, to share our life, to proclaim the coming of your reign and give himself for us a fragrant offering. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, you have freed us from sin, brought us into your life, reconciled us to you, and restored us to the glory you intend for us. We thank you that on the night before he died, for us Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his friends, and said, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine and said the blessing, gave it to his friends, and said, Drink this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in the remembrance of me. And so remembering all that was done for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection and ascension, longing for Christ's coming in glory, and presenting to you these gifts your earth has formed and human hands have made, we acclaim to you, O Christ. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Christ Jesus, come in glory. Send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts of bread and wine, that they may be to us the body and blood of your Christ. Grant that we, burning with your Spirit's power, may be a people of hope, justice, and love. Giver of life, draw us together in the body of Christ, and in the fullness of time, gather us with all your people into the joy of your true eternal home. Through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, we worship you, our God and Creator, in voices of, of unending praise. Blessed are you, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let's see you, please. Alleluia.
pray together. God of abundance, you have fed us with the bread of life and cut us out of the tree. You have been with us with Christ and one another, and you have made us one with all your people in heaven and on earth. Now send us forth in the power of your spirit, that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world, and continue forever in the risen life of Christ our Savior. Amen. Alleluia! Christ is risen! The Lord is risen indeed! Alleluia! God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you the gates of everlasting life. Amen! Amen. God the Son, who in, burning, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. Amen. God the Holy Spirit, who filled the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Creator, the Christ, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.
Thank you. 